Hello, my name is Dr. Scott Young, and today we're going to talk about hearing test frequencies. Coming right up. So when you say, I hear these things about you're having a hearing test, you ask a bunch of questions. I mean, like, what is it? I mean, is it like the eye chart where they go one versus two? Oh no, two, okay, two versus three, I don't know. Oh, a versus, I mean, you know, and, and you kind of wonder some of that stuff. But I want to share with you a little bit about the frequencies that are tested. Now, in audiology, we test from 250 hertz up to 8,000 hertz. Now, some people do some extended frequencies, um, but the reality that you're doing through those is normally it's by octave. You'd sometimes do the enter octave frequencies. Now, here's what happens. At 250 hertz, that's middle C on the piano. And then it's an octave above C, 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 all the way up. Now, we test those because they were tested back in the early 1900s. What they were done is they evaluated people with normal hearing and came up with an understanding of this thing called 0 dB HL. Now, Engineers love to like argue with me. I have engineers that come in all the time and they want to talk about zero dB, you know, zero dB SPL. No, zero dB SPL is no sound whatsoever, okay? In this room, there's a little bit of noise going on in the background. I mean, there's a little fan noise. There can be other kinds of things. Nothing really is at zero dB. You don't get into a sound booth, zero, zero dB SPL. But in HL terms, that's hearing loss. Okay, so what we're trying to do is, or hearing levels, so we're looking at the hearing levels. When we come up with a zero, that's what normal human beings actually work within. Now, as we, as we work inside of that, we're seeing those, the, those HL points, we start at zero, and that's normed depending upon each of the frequencies. Now, we use those because they're very effective at giving us an understanding of what the hearing loss is, and we're norming it upon the other people. Now, we also know that dogs can hear, now humans can hear from anywhere from 20,000 hertz, or 20 hertz up to 20,000 hertz. Now, dogs can hear quite a bit farther out than humans can. So when a dog hears a whistle, a dog whistle that is way up there in the frequency range, that's something that we can't do. That's just part of the reality. Now, when we're talking about normal levels and we're saying that those are zero decibel HL, our normal range is from zero to 25. So we have a box area that we'll put in there in our audiograms and it's, that's the normal range that we work from. Now, sometimes if you're testing kids, you might do 0 to 15. And so it depends upon that situation that you're looking at. So the hearing test frequencies are from 250 hertz up to 8,000 hertz that you're looking at. And you'll test some interactive frequencies. And that's how we come up with the mild to moderate, severe, profound, and ranges in between of that. And that's why we use those as these constant points so it's, but it's not just about doing the hearing test frequencies. It's about understanding what the speech levels do. What about speech and noise? All of those kinds of things are involved in evaluating hearing, lo in hearing loss and hearing. And so we do this quite a bit at hearing solution centers. Every day we probably do two, three, four tests a day, just evaluating someone's ability to hear. So thank you so much for listening. Subscribe to us. Answer some questions down below. Happy to answer them all the way through. Thank you so much.